That's a good mama. They found her just limping down a road. Good job. From the dots that were connected, she was chained up in the backyard for a few years. And she was in just pitiful shape, just skin and bones, and that tail was just wagging just so fast. She was so happy. Is this day one in foster care? Uh -huh. Is this day one? She weighed 33 pounds. So the first four weeks was really just packing on pounds. Did you find the toy bin? She was unsure of herself for sure. She clearly didn't ever get a puppyhood of her own, but she was already so grateful. Good morning, Mama. Hey. She didn't want to leave the porch at first. She'd never been on a leash. She'd never been out in a neighborhood. Honey, it's okay. We started slow walks. We'd go like to the end of the driveway and back. It was very new to her. And eventually our walks got longer and she got stronger and she started running. <laughs> hey, sweet girl. All of a sudden, this puppy emerged. Oh, jeez. No, ma'am, drop. <laughs> Biggest milestone for Journey was squeaker toys. She was terrified of the squeaker noise. Eventually, when she'd see my dogs playing with toys, and she was like, oh, this looks fun. And all of a sudden, it was just on. What are you doing in there? That dog can't get enough of her toys. Oh my gosh. She would run down those stairs with her squeaky toys. And she'd run around the yard with it. We kind of went through her whole puppyhood while she was here, even though she was an adult dog. Gaining that confidence where things weren't scary and she could explore things she didn't know. She really just had to evolve from that chain yard dog to a couch potato. Today is knee surgery day. An old injury essentially left her kneecap displaced. So she had to have a surgical repair. Good girl, Journey. So that she didn't experience more problems later on in life. Seriously, Journey took her cone off and she broke the kittens out. We had like <laughs> 10 foster kittens at the time. She's so gentle. It was just definitely like that mothering spirit to her. She wanted to groom them and lick them. I think it's just her. She means so well. Journey just has this endless will and want and kind of lust for life. Judy, the shelter manager, the first thing she said was, she might be your next dog. When I agreed to take her, I kept that in the back of my head. And then Gabe showed up. All right, Journey, bags are packed. When he contacted us about adopting, I never had any question that she wasn't Gabe's dog. Hi. Hi there. He drove 13 hours from Cape Cod. Just from the first moment, she was just wagging her tail and he just watched her, just smiling. <laughs> And then they were gone. Bye, Bernie! There was like no sadness with this one. It was so happy seeing her go off with him. And I truly think it's just because Gabe is home for her. It's a good dog.